and like a snow term tumble yeah I can hear you. Hey there, darling. What's up? Oh, just watching you. Huh? Just watching you. Turning up a muddy mess, huh? Oh, yeah? Huh? Trip was pretty muddy, wasn't it? Very muddy. Everything got muddy. In my truck. No finger flare. And even that, be tired. So we got this here Honda 
UTV, huh? Yep. On the Pioneer Deluxe 2017. The Deluxe has the power steering and the paddle shifters. It's got 1,600 miles on it. Bought it used. And hopefully she does as well. We're going to go work at the off-grid property. For our off-grid access and work. Right? Yep. Because to build our cabin down there, we're going to have to have, not the only way to access it will be by a four-wheeler or a UTV. Or just a, yeah, pretty much that's about it. As far as accessing the cabin, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Muddy mess. Muddy, muddy, muddy. See? The truck's all clean now. You still see hints of dirt on it, like on the wheels. from Jeep Extreme and I have a little new ride right here um, I say new it's new to me it is a 2017 Honda Pioneer Deluxe a Deluxe it's got a couple accessories not a whole lot paddle shifters and power steering why power steering well if you're going real slow and you hit a couple big rocks here and there and you don't want to tweak your arms back and forth to fight it hard, um, power steering is kind of nice. And honestly, I've never had power steering in anything, not a four wheeler and a side by side. This is the second side by side I've owned. Uh, the first side by side was a Polaris. Uh, 500 motor and a joiner buggy which is on one of my previous videos and but this is the first true side by side that I bought got a good deal on it nothing's really changed on it uh, I guess in 2014 they did have a problem with their timing change and they beefed them up afterwards from what I read uh, so that was one of the big things. Obviously, we would know that a timing chain would be some big failure if it went out. It could really cause a lot of damage. So I'm going to go over this with you really quick because there's a ton of videos out there that go over these things. And um, I just got mine from the Mud Fest, as you saw earlier in the pre previous clips here. Uh, in Nevada or Nevada and Missouri and uh, <laughs> five miles of dirt road and my truck does not like uh, to not throw mud so it's got stock rims they're Hondas it's got the stock tires they're 24 inch or wait those are 25s yeah 25 inch and no winch which I plan on doing I'm going to upgrade or redo the front bumper. This thing, they cut the bar out going across and they put this LED in. Kind of looks pretty cool, except for it's a little crooked. So I'm taking it out, redoing it all. And if you watch down the road, 
you'll see what I'll do. You can see that cap's still on there. The other one's off, but I'm gonna weld these shut. I'm gonna run down, go across, and over and make a custom bumper by Deluxe. I mean, you don't have a whole lot. You just get the paddle shifter manual trans option, which is kind of cool. So if you want to downshift, and uh, paddle shift is kind of neat. And then you have up in there in the front, you got your uh, power steering. So it makes it pretty easy. You can turn it with pretty much your finger. Uh, this. Your doors, you know, they open up. I'm still getting used to where everything is on this thing. Where is it? Yeah, right there. And your door opens, swings shut. Locks in. Saw a cool upgrade on a post um, where they take the, uh, oh, like the boat or the kayak uh, round containers with the socks in them and they put them in there. The only problem I see with that is is these are ribbed so you're gonna have to like silicone around it unless you I mean period so it's a good idea and I like it because it's a way to utilize this hollow inside and put a sock in it but still I'm gonna put a roof and I'm only gonna do a half roof so like right here, I'm gonna run a full half roof, hard roof, and then back here I might do a soft top. Obviously I'm gonna do a split windshield because they say, if you do a half windshield here, which is what I'm gonna do, and then a split up here where it folds up like this with the um, little uh, assist, the it's it's handy. Well, it's awesome for hunting, but it's it's handy because of the fact that the wind will blow through, and if you got people in the back, they won't get dusted out. As to where if you have the full windshield and you got people in the back, they'll get dusted out. So this right here flips up. If you know anything about these and read anything about these, this this comes out this mat, and then it flips up. And then your seat, your floorboards right there, and then the seats flip up. So you got four seats, and you got a bed, which is really awesome. You got independent front and rear, shaft drive front and rear, uh, diff lock, so you can lock it all in, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and then diff lock. If you get stuck, you're going to be doing something totally stupid. So, because it's basically a a little uh, all-terrain vehicle. I mean, this thing is, you got your emergency brake, there's your power shift, it's like a little car. So I just wanted to give a get, uh, walk around on what I'm gonna, kind of a few things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a high lift lift on it, it's only gonna raise it about an inch and a half to two inches. I'm gonna put 28 inch tires from 25, and uh, I think that's plenty high enough. Eventually, those are things I'll do down the road. Windshield split, the half roof, the be the bikini top in the back, um, winch in the front, worn. Um, redo the front bumper area. Let's see, LED headlights because the stock ones suck and they don't have enough. Um, they just they're not bright enough. I am gonna probably, honestly, I'm really think I will. I'm gonna line this. Or I'm gonna see how if I think it's gonna work, which I don't know why it wouldn't. In lime green, all the way across. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over these accents. And right here, you'll see there's an indention right here. I'm gonna line this all the way across and line this all in lime green. Me and lime green, I just love it. Can't help it. So uh, if you're interested in Honda Pioneers. I got this, um, me and my girlfriend, we got this for uh, a lot of work. So we have 11 acres up north that we bought for off-grid property that we're building a cabin on. We, got, we actually are gonna YouTube all this and uh, make videos of the progress of us building this cabin and living off-grid. 
because in a year and a half to two years, I plan on being strictly off grid. Uh, living off grid, we needed something that is going to get our cabin, <laughs> all our materials and everything through the woods down the little trail because I'm gonna build it in the back of the property. It's kind of a narrow strip of 11 acres and then it goes back, way back. And then eventually we may end up buying the property next to us. So we just wanna go ahead and have it as remote as possible. So we wanted something that we can work with and that will do get us where we need to go. Thought about a four wheeler and I'm totally, totally not saying not get a four wheeler because if you guys watch Ringworm, which is one of my favorite channels on YouTube, uh, Kyle's Cabin and Ringworm, top notch. I love those guys. Shouts out to you. Um, but if you watch those, those guys can, they, they, they do awesome work and, uh, you know, Ringworm, he has nothing but an old Honda Rancher, I think 300, 4x4 or something like that. And he does everything you need to do with it. I'm not saying don't do that route because honestly, it'd probably be, well, it won't be. It would be a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, but I've never had a side by side and I wanted to go ahead and see how it would uh, work. I think it's going to be great. Just keep keep following us and uh, we'll keep the progress. I was debating on this and the Polaris 5, what is it, 570 um, Ranger. And I think honestly the Polaris 570 is pretty good. I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about. Like Hondas, I've had a Honda Rancher uh, for, what was it, the 420 or when it came out and it was good. Um, like shaft drive. My Jeeps are still my babies. I needed something a little smaller. To me, the 700 is about the perfect size. If you have a four wheeler and you want to up the ante, you go to a 700 or a five, you know, 570 in a Polaris because that's about the same size as this. If you want to go to Honda 1000, hey man, it's all good. I'm not saying it's bad because it's not, but it's also bigger. It's a little bigger, it's a little more, and you're almost into the uh, compact car size. They make the 520 and this, which is basically a four-wheeler with a cab, um, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's cool. I mean, I like it, but it's that's basically what it is. They make the 700 and the 1000. To me, this is a perfect side by side. 700 cc or close to it. Plenty of power, uh, low in torque, decent bed. I, I wouldn't have really cared if I had the four seater or the two seater. The four seaters are really more pr like more common for people that have family. We really don't. I mean, we have family, but they're older and they barely are ever with us and it's gonna be used for work rig. As long as I had the power steering and the paddle shifters, the manual trans option, that's basically what I wanted. I just got the prices right, so I got this one. It's probably the more wanted of them, is this one. You got the assisted lift bed, which is really cool. Pretty cool, first side by side really ever, so thanks for watching.